Hello guys and welcome again. In this video we are going to see uh, how to use the T Edge browser component in order to browse the web from your own uh, application. In the past you would be using the uh, web uh, browser component, okay, but uh, I wouldn't recommend using that component anymore considering it will result uh, uh, most likely uh, with a lot of scripting errors and it's simply uh, not supported anymore uh, uh, and you should uh, change it with the edge browser component okay so uh, from now on i would like i said suggest that you use the the edge uh, browser component if you want to browse the web from your own application and uh, the uh, concept is pretty much the same as uh, with the web browser you click navigate and uh, it should navigate to the location that is specified in this uh, edit one uh, and in this case it's a uh, google maps okay but when I run the application and I click navigate, nothing happens. So um, he didn't go anywhere. And in order to make the uh, Edge browser component to work, first you need to go to the tools, get it package manager and install the Edge SDK. Okay, I see here Edge View 2 SDK. And once you install that SDK, you will go to, the, uh, to its folder here and into binary folder and in this case uh, this sample application is a 32-bit application so i'll go into uh, this folder here and i'll copy this dll into the location of this project okay so i have the dll and the exe file in the same location and once i run the application again and click navigate now it everything works okay so that's the idea. Uh, in order to uh, use the TH browser component, you need to install the Edge uh, SDK and copy the corresponding uh, web view to uh, a loader uh, in your project. But keep in mind that you need to watch out for the platform that you used. If it's 32 bit, then uh, it's uh, this DLL, or if it's uh, uh, 64 bit, then uh, it's this DLL. And that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching and see you soon.